Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1700, explorer William Dampier is the first British person to visit the Pacific island of New Britain, which he also names. In 1785, the University of Georgia is founded, the first public university in the United States. In 1801, since it is not a state, Washington, D.C. is placed under the jurisdiction of the U.S. Congress. In 1807, American poet Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was born in Portland, Massachusetts, which is now called Portland, Maine. In 1812, poet Lord Byron gives his first address as a member of the British House of Lords. In 1814, Ludwig van Beethoven's Eighth Symphony in F premieres. In 1825, the U.S. Congress approves Indian Territory, clearing the way for forced relocation of the five civilized tribes on the Trail of Tears. In 1827, today was the first Mardi Gras celebration in New Orleans, Louisiana. In 1854, German composer Robert Schumann is saved from a suicide attempt in the Rhine River. In 1860, Abraham Lincoln makes a speech at Cooper Union in New York City that is largely responsible for his election to the presidency. Those of you who watch my channel daily know that his beard might have had a little bit to do with it as well. In 1864, the first Northern prisoners arrive at the Confederate prison at Andersonville, Georgia at the start of the U.S. Civil War. In 1869, John Menard is the first African American to make a speech in the U.S. Congress. In 1870, the Kappa Alpha Theta fraternity is founded at DePaul University. In 1872, Charlotte Ray who was the first African-American woman lawyer in the U.S., graduates from Howard University. In 1873, Dutch socialist Samuel Van Wooden demands laws against child labor. Good call, Sam. In 1879, Russian chemist Konstantin Falberg discovers the artificial sweetener saccharin. In 1883, Oscar Hammerstein patents the first cigar rolling machine. In 1888, the National Geographic Society is founded in Washington, D.C. In 1901, baseball's National League Rules Committee states that all fouls are to count as strikes, except after the batter has two strikes. In 1902, American author John Steinbeck is born. In 1907, psychiatrist Carl Jung and Sigmund Freud meet for the first time in Vienna, Austria. In 1908, baseball's sacrifice fly is adopted and then repealed in 1931 and then reinstated in 1954. In 1919, the American Association for the Hard of Hearing forms in New York City. In 1922, the U.S. Supreme Court case Lesser v. Garnett is rejected. It was a challenge to the 19th Amendment which allowed women the right to vote. I guess someone was still mad that women got the vote. In 1932, English physicist James Chadwick discovers the neutron. Also in 1932, American actress Elizabeth Taylor is born. In 1933, the Nazis execute Dutchman Martin van der Lubbe for starting the fire which destroyed the German parliament building. It was most likely the Nazis themselves that started the fire. In 1935, the seventh Academy Awards happened tonight. The movie It Happened One Night, Clark Gable, and Claudette Colbert are winners. In 1939, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that sit-down labor strikes violate property owners' rights and are therefore illegal. In 1940, carbon-14 is discovered. Well, I mean it was already a thing, but it was identified. In 1941, the 13th Academy Awards occur today. The movie Rebecca, James Stewart, and Ginger Rogers win. In 1942, the first transport of French Jews to Nazi Germany occurs today. Also in 1942, J.S. Hay discovers radio emissions from the sun. In 1943, the Rosenstrasse protest starts in Berlin, Germany. Also in 1943, the Smith Mine No. 3 in Bear Creek, Montana explodes, killing 74 men. In 1945, the Red Army liberates the remaining inmates of the Auschwitz concentration camp. In 1950, General Chiang Kai-shek is elected president of nationalist China. In 1951, the 22nd Amendment was ratified. It limited the U.S. president to a maximum of two terms in office. In 1956, female suffrage is granted in Egypt. 
1957, tonight was the premiere of the Xavier Cougat Show on NBC, which was the only primetime network TV show beginning with an X ever, until The X-Files. In 1959, the Chicago Cardinals trade running back Ollie Matson to the LA Rams for nine players. In 1963, the New York Yankees signed Mickey Mantle to a $100,000 contract, which is about $900,000 in 2022 money. In 1964, the government of Italy asks for help in keeping the Leaning Tower of Pisa from falling over. In 1966, the eighth Daytona 500 is run. Richard Petty comes from two laps down to win the event. In 1967, astronauts Gus Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chaffee are killed in a fire during a test of their Apollo 1 spacecraft at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Also in 1967, the United States, the United Kingdom, and the Soviet Union signed the Outer Space Treaty in Washington, D.C., banning deployment of nuclear weapons in space and limiting use of the moon and other astronomical objects to peaceful purposes. In 1968, the most trusted man in America, journalist Walter Cronkite, predicts that the Vietnam War could end only in a protracted stalemate. In 1970, the New York Times reports that the U.S. Army has ended domestic surveillance. It wasn't true. In 1973, 200 members of the American Indian Movement forcefully took the reservation called Wounded Knee in South Dakota. In 1974, the Brisbane River in Australia experiences its largest flood of the 20th century. Also in 1974, People magazine hits newsstands for the first time. In 1976, the final meeting between China's Mao Zedong and U.S. President Richard Nixon occurs today. In 1977, Canada gives Rolling Stones guitarist Keith Richards a suspended sentence for heroin possession. Also in 1977, Swedish pop group ABBA arrives in Australia for the first time, which sparks ABBA mania. In 1980, the 22nd Grammy Awards airs. The song of the year is What a Fool Believes by Kenny Loggins. Yes, it was sung by the Doobie Brothers. And the best album is Billy Joel's 52nd Street. What a great year. In 1981, today Boeing's 747 carried the most passengers of any aircraft ever, with 610 people on board. Also in 1981, Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder record their huge single, Ebony and Ivory. In 1982, Wayne Williams is found guilty of two of the 28 murders he committed in Atlanta, Georgia. In 1984, the King of Pop Michael Jackson suffers second-degree burns to his scalp during the filming of a Pepsi commercial at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles. Also in 1984, Carl Lewis jumps an indoor world record of 28.46 feet. In 1986, the United States Senate allows its debates to be televised on a trial basis. In 1987, today is the 20th anniversary of the PBS show Washington Week in Review. In 1988, Katerina Witt wins her second consecutive Olympic figure skating gold. In 1990, the Exxon Corporation is indicted on five criminal counts due to the Valdez disaster. Also in 1990, the single Hold On is released by Wilson Phillips and becomes the Billboard Song of the Year. In 1991, U.S. President George H.W. Bush ordered a ceasefire effective at midnight and declared victory in the Persian Gulf War. Also in 1991, singer James Brown is paroled from prison after serving two years for weapon and drug-related convictions. In 1996, Germany observes International Holocaust Remembrance Day for the first time. Also in 1996, American film production company Happy Madison Productions is founded by Adam Sandler. In 1996 as well, today is the first ever appearance of Pokemon in a role-playing video game. It was for Game Boy. In 1997, super successful singer Sade is arrested in Jamaica for disobeying a police officer. By the way, Sade is a cool name, but her real first name is Helen. In 1998, the FBI arrests the top 10 most wanted list serial killer, Tony Ray Amati. He was convicted of killing three people. Also in 1998, Britain's House of Lords agrees to end the 1,000-year-old rule of male precedence by giving a monarch's firstborn daughter the same claim to the throne that any firstborn son would have. 
In 2002, a Muslim mob sets fire to a train carrying Hindu pilgrims in what is now called the Godra train burning. 59 people are killed. Also in 2002, an explosion at a military storage facility in Nigeria kills at least 1,100 people and leaves 20,000 others homeless. In 2004, a terrorist bombing of a super ferry in the Philippines kills 116 people. Also in 2004, the initial version of the John Jay Report is released. It details the Catholic sexual abuse scandal in the United States. In 2005, the 77th Academy Awards air. Movie Million Dollar Baby, Jamie Foxx, and Hilary Swank win. In 2007, Marc Messier's number 11 jersey is retired by the Edmonton Oilers. In 2008, American author and editor-in-chief of the journal National Review, William F. Buckley Jr. dies at age 82. In 2010, an 8.8 .8 earthquake strikes Chile, killing more than 500 with thousands injured and triggered a tsunami that devastated coastal areas and reached as far as Hawaii. In 2011, the 83rd Academy Awards air. Best Picture goes to The King's Speech, while Colin Firth and Natalie Portman win Best Acting Awards. In 2012, WikiLeaks begins disclosing 5 million emails from private intelligence company Stratfor. In 2013, Pope Benedict XVI presents his farewell address to Vatican City. In 2014, chaos erupts after the Swedish Public Employment Service mistakenly invites 61,000 people to a job interview in Stockholm. Oopsie! In 2015, American actor Leonard Nimoy, best known as Star Trek's Mr. Spock, dies today. And for you deep track types, he was also the narrator on the TV series In Search Of. In 2018, Jared Kushner, son-in-law of President Trump, has his White House top secret security clearance downgraded. Also in 2018, Barbara Streisand reveals that she has cloned her dog twice. In 2019, the Captain Marvel film premieres today. Also in 2019, Donald Trump's former lawyer testifies before the House Oversight Committee, calling Trump a racist, a con man, and a cheat. In 2019 as well, the smallest baby ever is born today at 9.45 ounces. He is later successfully released from the Tokyo hospital he was born in. Again in 2019, doctors announced the birth of the world's second known case of semi-identical twins, a boy and girl from Brisbane, Australia. And the last one from 2019, 52-year-old actor Luke Perry suffers a stroke today. In 2020, the largest cosmic explosion ever detected is reported on in Astrophysical Journal. It is the size of 15 Milky Ways and is 390 million light years away. And lastly, in 2021, the U.S. authorizes its third COVID-19 vaccine, a one-shot vaccine from Johnson & Johnson. And that was February 27th throughout history. I hope you enjoyed it. I have a lot more dates right in front of you. Take a look.